Hey guys, welcome back to the Iron Key. Last time our heroes traded Kela for two gemstones. Although, as Hosh suspected, the riders weren't bounty hunters but Kela's co-workers. The moment they retrieved Kela, they tried to flee. In the process though, Yana and Sidri killed two of them and knocked Kela unconscious. The party then took refuge in the temple when once again Yana and Sidri spotted a small army of orcs heading their way. What do you guys do? I get up from my bedroll, I take up my grey axe. Mm. Everybody wake up! <laughs> I'm going to the tower, the opposite tower where Yena is. Uh, the guards also are taking their stuff back, uh, they start wearing back their armor, it's gonna take a few minutes. So it's true, Hosh was right. Half a minute before they arrive, I'm gonna light that tree on fire. Oh, yeah, <laughs> how are you gonna light it up? Firebolt, 18. I'm doing that just so we can see them clearly and they can't see us clearly, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah it makes I'm going to touch the wheelbarrow and I'm gonna cast uh, light or turfly and the guards to be able to see. Thank you, Yana. Not Yana. <laughs> now that they're closer, you count around 20 orcs. They obviously saw a firebolt uh, hitting a tree, so you hear somebody among them screaming, They must have a sorcerer! Yena, you see a guy that seems kind of larger than the rest, shouts, go for the village. Oh my, they're coming. And, um... Next time on the Iron Key. <laughs> <laughs> you hear actually almost a commotion of footsteps, metals clinging. How many are they? 20 orcs. Shit. Finally, that they are so close to the gate, you notice a larger orc, kinda in the, in the back of the horde, and on his side, you see a female orc. Uh, she has her eyes tied, and she steps forward and asks, You need to open the gates now, because you will face Gurash Wrath. Gurash? Gurash. Who's Gurash? And you see the orc behind her, the bigger one. Oi! If we open the gates, aren't we going to feel the wrath of Gurash either way? <laughs> she actually looks back to Gurash. Yes, you, you will either way. So we're not opening the gates, Gurash? <laughs> Are we fucking dumb? <laughs> <laughs> You're a, an orc somewhere. Hey boss, he has a point. <laughs> I ask the first orc that's in front. What's your name, friend? <gasps> Brack. Why are you here, Brack? I'm here because I'm Orc. Uh, Gurash. Yes. Why do you come to this town? We need to find a refuge in that village. Why? Because. Can Yena give me a perception check? Yep, 22. The one who is seemingly the leader of the horde, he has a few arrows stuck in his back and he seems to be hurt. He seems to be hurt, yeah. What? He seems to be hurt! Oh, Gurash, are you hurt? The female orc once again responds, Gurash is never hurt. I cast message to Gurash and I try to imitate the voice of Brack. Mm. How I wish I was leader of orcs. <gasps> Brack, are you doing sorceries now? And he turns around, no, I only hold the sword and I don't know why I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have battle axe, I not only have shield, I forgot what I was holding. <laughs> so you are lying to me. <laughs> Yena, you also see Gurash points towards few of the orcs and you see three of them walking away. Hey, there are some orcs going away. Sidrin? Yes. Do you think the keep is safest than this part we're in right now? Another keep. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we have a good chance. But we'll have to jump over the bridge. Uh, I prefer to jump over the bridge instead of fighting 20 orcs. Well, yeah, point. I think we should hurt them first. By the way, while this is happening, you hear Gurash screaming, Climb the walls! And uh, you see three of the orcs, they dive into the moat and they attempt to climb what? the walls. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy is trying to find a place to grapple. All the woods are kind of slick and vertical, so there is no place to actually hold on to. But the third guy, he finds a rope hanging that Hosh left there uh, and he starts climbing. I'll cut the rope! <laughs> you manage to quickly snap it and you hear, oh! 
I don't think there is a way to go up from here. I go upstairs to see what's happening. Guys. Yes. Attack the boss and then we run to the keep. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. One roll like from your party and one from there. Natural 20. <laughs> yeah! You go, Yena! I attempt to shoot. Crash. Crash. Gurash. 22. To hit, oh yeah. 12. 12 damage? Yeah. So your arrow hits him between the chest and the shoulder. He screams out in pain like, Oh, why do elves keep throwing arrows at me today? That's what elves do. Are there are three behind the walls. Yeah, yeah there's three orcs total. Okay, I cast Bane on them. One is 16 and one is a natural duendis. Yeah, one failed. Cheers. I take my javelin and I throw it over the gates. <laughs> Blindly. No. You hear. Dung. I ice knife Gurash. So 15. Doesn't. Yeah, but he has to make a dexterity saving throw though. And the guys around him, right? Yep. <laughs> they all fail actually. Nine damage. What the fuck? So it's the orc's horde turn. Uh, you hear Gurak shouting to me. To be. To me. To be or not to be. <laughs> so immediately two of the shielded orcs run and they take position in front of him while he ducks behind them. The other five shielded orcs take position in front and the five archers hide behind them, using them as cover. The first two arrows hit the, the tower itself, but uh, the third one manages to go through and hit uh, Yena. Now it's going to be on Sidiri and uh, Hosh. On the, on the southern tower, the first arrow hits the tower, the second misses the whole tower. Nice shot! That should be the horde's turn. They take position, that's about it. So it's our turn? Yes. I throw a nice knife at the boss again. 22. Oh shit, yeah, you hit him. 3 and 8 damage. Damn, son. He seems hurt. Fuck this guy! <laughs> I go downstairs. <laughs> We should take cover, by the way. I am. And I tell to Torem, uh, we may have to run to the keep. That ends my turn. Ah, you try to hit him again? Yeah, turn. No. Uh, who goes next? Me? Why are we leaving? <laughs> because there is a bunch of orcs that are trying to kill us. But we, where are we going? To the keep. The keep. Why? I I'm running. I don't know about you. I'm going to the keep. I'm running as well. Go away and I'll come later. What if the other three orcs that went southwards come over here where you are and open the gates and you're still here? Are you gonna fight three orcs? I can escape from them. Why do you want to stay alone? Just to watch what they are trying to do. They're trying to get inside and take refuge because their boss is hurt. I don't see them uh, succeeding this. We can't leave here. They're trying to come in and make the city their own. How? They can't climb. With okay, just stay army. here then. Okay. They'll find a way to climb here, okay? Okay. You go, I'll come later. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you more carry an archer. Your arrows are like toothpicks. <laughs> I don't think they're wise, so... Too damage. Yes, a disadvantage. Drops a tear, and because orcs never cry, it hurts. So you stay up in the tower? Yeah, stay hidden between the walls. The rest of you are uh, gonna leave. Before leaving, are there any rocks I can throw? <laughs> 19. No, oh, yeah, you find, uh, you do find one quite close, about the size of your uh, hand. Wait, guys, I'm gonna throw this and I'm coming with you. I take it. No, oh, no. <laughs> 11. No. And I run with the others. Turfly, it's your last chance. Are you coming with us? Why? Tuffley. You're going to die! From what? From those guys! Sidiri shoots his arrow, just hits the shield, climbs down and like, fuck this shit. <laughs> okay, we're running to the keep then. Can I talk to Hosh? Yeah, he's there. Hosh, message me when you pass the bridge. I can't message that far away, dude. You're on your own. Okay. How many did you guys kill? None. None? As Turfly can see, they reposition a bit. The boss and his two shields move back a bit. The sorcerer touches. The archers see that the southern tower is evacuated, but they still see somebody in the north and they all shoot towards that. Plus four, 19. Will that hit Turfly? I have 19. Hits four. <laughs> From the rest, none of them hit. <laughs> so yeah, you hear the... So it's our turn? Yes. 
We run. Uh, I'm assuming you're dashing, so. I wanna use my healing hands to relieve some pain of my hello, Yena. It's a nice uh, warm touch, giving you two HP. Oh, so that's what you did to me when I woke up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Turfly. Okay, I shout towards the orcs. Yeah. Archers, man the walls and fire at will. You're saying towards uh, imaginary people. Yeah. Give me a deception check. Natural 20 plus 6. All the orcs, they kind of squat down waiting for a, a barrage of arrows to come. And they keep waiting, holding their eyes semi-closed like... They expect to die now, and they keep waiting and waiting. <laughs> there must be delaying the arrows, sir. And then you hear uh, Gurash. I think they're bluffing. Can I jump from where I am on the church? <laughs> on the church. You can give me an acrobatics check. Before this happens, yes. because I care, I turn around and watch if Turfly is okay in order to see this magnificent thing happening. Right. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and try to leap all the way towards the temple. 11. You don't have a space to run because it's like a small entry and then it's a ladder. You don't get enough speed to, to cover the distance. So you miscalculate the jump completely and you land on the corner of the temple, hitting your head hard. <laughs> and that's 8 damage. Oh, shit. You are quite sure that his face is bleeding. <laughs> Maybe his ribs too. So it's the orc's turn. You see four arrows land behind the towers, but doesn't hit anything. Turfly! I'm on my way! So you're okay? Yes! <laughs> I am great! <laughs> okay, I go to the keep. Yena? Running! Yena, can you give me a perception check? 20. 20? You see all the way to the bridge, and right where you remember the, the broken part of the bridge, you notice a creature standing on top of it and tries to grab something from the underside of the bridge. I just stop and turn to the others. Guys, I see something on the bridge. Sweet. Turfly. Oh, shit. This chest is pretty solid. <laughs> I take a deep breath, I check if I am bleeding from the head. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I try to find my balance and stand up. You do, you spend half your movement and stand up. I touch the wound and I cast QR wounds. I have on the extent, so I'm full health. You see the way that Yena pointed you, a very small uh, orange light, and at some point it goes like in the sky. <gasps> Fuck! After a few seconds, it goes back. I'm very scared. Everybody is very scared. Oh, what are we going to do? Everyone's going to come through there. We need to go to the keep now. You're right, I agree. Turfli, you hear over the wall some commotion and steps moving. You hear like... <laughs> Fuck! What do you guys do? We run to the bridge and, and try to go to the keep because at this moment, we know that the whole army is coming from there. I use my sorcery points to get another spell slot. You hear a commotion still kind of following you, but in, in a slower pace outside of the wall. About 50 feet away from you to see shades uh, appearing in the night. Okay, I go towards them. So I take my small totem, I cast light upon it so that my teammates can see in the dark. I'm assuming the rest of you guys will follow as well. Uh, does anybody want to do anything else at this point? I believe Hosh. So guys, the moment you are getting closer, Hosh is getting ready to shoot a guy with a firebolt. The rest are drawing their swords, getting into combat stances. The orc in the back screams, KILL THEM! And they immediately rush towards you while you try to hold your ground and roll for initiative. Right near. I advance towards them. Halfway there, I put my totem down. Fucking orcs. Hey. And I have my great axe and I swing it. Alright, so you rage first and then you attack. 13. No, you don't hit actually. I don't? You strike towards him, but he uses his shield to deflect your attack. Terrifically. I want to move closer to the orcs, but far from them. 
So I move in a distance that I can uh, I can use vicious mockery. You can hit all uh, either of those three. I hit the last one. 18. Okay, I guess he dodges. Next goes Snook Snook actually. The guy you attacked. Snook Snook. Yes. Ah, Snorri. Snoogle. Snorri. <laughs> Snugu crashes by Raidnir, maneuvers around you and tries to and attempts to hit you from the back. Natural 20. Shit. Dealing 21 damage. Have resistance. Yes, that's 10. Next is Ure. <laughs> what? <laughs> Next is Ure. <laughs> the guy in front of Raidnir, he also attacks Natural 7. Next is Hoshi. I go to an angle that I can see the two furthest orcs and I grab my wand, I form an eye shard again on my left hand and I shoot, I snipe at them. Unnatural 20. The guy with the shield did not expect that and got hit. So that's three piercing damage to the last one and three cold damage to the other guy. So that worked um, out. Ah, three on each. Yeah, that's the best I can do. You gain resistance to all damage for the next minute. What? <laughs> you do. Sweet. Not the worst spell. Uh, next is Alara. Shoots at the same guy you shot with Ice Knife. With 8 damage. Next is Sidiri. I will aim the eyeball of the orc. There's 3 orcs, Sidiri. Choose one. Of the ugly one. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the most beautiful orc. 10 damage. Yeah, he hits him in the ribs and he cries out in pain like, oh! He runs behind cover and then aims and shoots at Alara with natural 18 4 next will be top of the round kaylen kaylen dashes and comes within melee range of everybody he grabs you on the side of your arm and casts cure wounds on you thank you a 5 hp Nice. Actually, Yena goes next. Uh, try to shoot the orb behind Vernia. Snuguk. Yeah. 13! Hey. You hit the Snuguks. <laughs> you. <laughs> you should. God damn it, you killed him. What the fuck? Roll two and then two and you kill. You shoot your arrow towards Snuguk. You miss. It deflects on the fence behind him and goes through his neck and like. <laughs> Bounce shot, I like it. Rainier. Kill him, kill him. I'm really pissed off. I take like full strength. Nine. <laughs> Do you want to attack recklessly? Yes. You have advantage, but they will have advantage against you. 17. Roll damage. 15. You cut him in half, like diagonally. Hey, I have a half orc here. That guy's dead. Next is Turfley. And I mockery viciously. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say to him? You are Danzo. What? what? <laughs> yeah, he says what and bursts in tears. He fails. Four. Four damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have the killing blow. What? <laughs> I want to uh, make his ears bleed. <laughs> he is crying. He starts to bleed from his tears and he starts bleeding from his ears and dies horribly. Told you. Can we jump from the bridge now, please, before the orcs come? You guys defeat them. You have a very quick cheer that you didn't die. You were expecting the fight against orcs to be a bit harder and start dashing towards the bridge, getting ready to jump. What you see on your west is the rest of the orc horde and they are on the shore getting ready to eventually start walking towards you or swimming. Rather. You see the war chief to wave his axe and point towards you. You see archers pulling and releasing their bows. And they land in the water, but they eventually come closer and closer to you. Yena, can you give me a perception check with advantage, please? 16. What you notice a bit further back from the horde of orcs, there is another small band of humanoids, and they go towards the horde of orcs. The three of you, Turfly, Yena and Raidnir, understand Well, it's a scream coming from that group in Elvish and you hear... Here they are, the orcs. Get them all, kill them all. That's where we're gonna end for tonight, next time on the Iron Key.